Hello and welcome to the learning square. In this video tutorial I will talk about the homomorphic filtering in the Fourier domain. Now these filters are used for correcting non-uniform illumination in the images. We already know that the product of the scene illumination and the reflectance gives us the intensity at a particular pixel. So reflectance arises from the properties of the scene objects whereas illumination results from the lighting conditions and this can be changed. So we can see that we generally have an additive noise model which we have been considering till now. There are relatively very few techniques that work on the noise models which have multiplicative noise model. So here we are talking about a multiplicative noise here. So the homomorphic filtering is one such technique for removing the multiplicative noise and what we do is we generally take the logarithmic values of both the sides now we very well know from the logarithmic properties that if we take log of both the sides then I can express log of intensity as the log of reflectance and the log of illumination. We can then apply a high pass filter in the log domain to remove the low frequency illumination component and preserve the high frequency reflectance component. So the steps to apply the filter would be we would first convert the image to float, convert the image next to the log domain because we want this domain. Then apply the high pass filtering in either the spatial domain or the frequency domain. So we apply the high pass filtering to remove the low frequency illumination component. Apply the inverse filter and retain the real part of the result. Then we apply the exponential function to invert the log transform and then see how the homomorphic filtered image looks like using the IF50 show function which we had made in the previous lectures. So let's realize this in MATLAB. So this time I will read another image. It's called trees.tiff. It's also shipped with MATLAB. I can just see how it looks like, the original image. So you can see, this is how my image looks like. First convert it to double. So I'll say I am to double A. Take the FFT in the log domain of the image. Could be any variable. I say FFT2. That's the Fourier transform of the log domain. I add a value of 0 0.01 to avoid the log of zero error. Now once this is done, I will also create a high pass filter. I could use any high pass filter which we have seen till now. So I will take the butter high pass filter. The image was A size. Take D as 15 and the first order. You can revisit the lecture of high pass butterworth filter to see this filter. Once this is done, then I will again do an individual multiplication of elements of the filter and the image. Now if you remember the steps, we had to take the real part of the inverse Fourier transform of this filtered image. Now I have to convert this to the exponential to do away with the log conversion and I will use IA50 show function which we had made in one of the previous lectures to see my result. So you can see this was my original image which had lesser illumination and now the illumination is corrected. So you can play around with various high pass filters which we have studied in the previous classes. This brings us to the end of this lecture. See you in the next one. Thank you.